We have a quick video tutorial showcasing how to use the vBulletin AJAX installation script. Uh, you're going to need a few things before you can get started, and that is access to phpMyAdmin or some type of database utility. Uh, then you're going to need access to a FTP client such as FileZilla to upload files to your web server. Let's go ahead and get started. Download the most recent copy of vBulletin from the members area on vBulletin.com. Then you're going to be presented with the zip file here. Now let me shrink this into view so everyone can see it properly. What we're going to do next is extract the contents. When that's done, we're going to make a few quick changes. Let's go ahead and go into the upload folder, then within there to the includes. We're looking for config.php.me. And we're going to rename that simply config.php. If it comes up a prompt asking you, do you want to rename it, say yes. Now, you're going to want to open this with something such as Notepad++. Be sure to use Google and hunt that down real quick and get it installed. It makes editing things a little bit easier and doesn't add any mysterious hidden characters from one operating system to another, which can cause problems. And does come up very rarely. So go ahead and download something such as Notepad++ and let's open this file. Now as you can see when we scroll down you're going to need to know the database name then some other stuff such as the username and password for a user assigned to that database. And that respectively is where PHP Admin becomes involved. Now let's go ahead and open up PHP My Admin. And what we need to do is click on databases then create a new database so I'm just going to call it VB420 collation UTF-8 scroll down and find it hit create now you're also going to want to assign a user and for the purpose of this video I have created a VB demo user and the password is VB demo however please be sure to use a stronger and more secure password whenever you create your user and assign it to the database. You can click on the database, then you can click on privileges, and as you can see I have VB demo and then the password VB demo and all privileges assigned to this database. Now what we're going to do, switch back over to our files, and then you can see we're already in includes. I have opened another folder. And we've opened that in Notepad plus plus, so now what we want to do is edit that accordingly. Let's scroll down and go ahead and type in your username, password VB demo, VB demo for the password, and the forum name, excuse me, the database name rather, was VB420. And then you'll want to replace the technical email with your email, your current email address. That way if you have a database error, you receive the appropriate emails in regards to those. After you're done with that, save the file. And now we're going to minimize this. We have everything prepared. So we want to go back up to the upload folder. And now we want to highlight everything within the upload folder. Drop it right over into none other than our public HTML directory. So let me slide this over. Then you would just grab these, drop them right in public HTML or within the forum folder if you have your form installed within slash forum, respectively. After that, we're actually ready to begin the installation process. So what you'll want to do, and it's going to end up looking just like this, but what you'll want to do is go ahead and type in your browser your actual current URL of your site. So we're going to have that typed in there. And then we hit enter. So yours would be www.yoursite.com and then hit enter or yoursite.com slash forum and then simply hit enter. It's going to come up with a screen and prompt you for your customer number and password. Now once that comes up, you enter in your customer number. Excuse me, not the password. You enter in your customer number and go ahead and click begin the install process and then it's going to come up and tell you 
what you're installing, which is vBulletin 4.x.x, whichever version you currently are installing. And we want to go ahead and click Begin Install. Now I'm going to pause this video while the installation script runs. I'll unpause it every time a prompt comes up. You will be prompted every so often to provide a little bit of information. You're more than welcome to click Show Details to view the status of what's going on. And the first prompt that comes up is asking, asking you for general settings information, such as the title of your forum, the home page title. For now, I'm just going to enter in duplicates of most things. But you may want to adjust this accordingly and even overwrite Webmaster with your actual current email. We're going to click OK. And then the next prompt we're presented with is cookie settings. Um, as long as you're not running another software or another forum, you can leave all of this as is and click OK to proceed. Now the next prompt is for administrator account setup. Let's go ahead and enter in a username. Then enter in a password. Be sure it's something a little long and secure. and then your email address. Hit OK. And it's going to proceed with setting up everything using the details you have provided. And now we're simply waiting on our next prompt, which is asking you, would you like to install the CMS default data? Now, if you're very new to vBulletin, which I'm assuming you are since you're installing for the first time, we recommend that you install the CMS default data and the reason being if you do not install it and you're coming into the back end trying to create sections, categories, uh, articles, anything of that nature, it's a little daunting. It, you know, you have to tinker around with it for a little bit before you ultimately figure out how it all works. However, if you install the CMS default data, you have something to go from. You have a foundation to work from, something to see how everything is currently in place and you can even edit the current articles and replace it with your content and rename accordingly which makes it a lot easier on you. So we're going to go ahead and click yes. And from here it should finish up all the way through 100 and then tell you that you're ready to either review the details which we're already showing as we go or continue to the admin CP. So let's be patient for a few seconds and then that will come up. And here is the prompt. Now what we're going to do is click go to admin CP. Now for security reasons you need to be aware that install.php is only required when you first install your form. Anytime in the future when you're downloading an updated version of vBulletin and running the upgrade script, you can actually delete the install.php file before you upload all the other files. So go ahead and take a second, delete the install.php file that's within the install directory, and you can do that by navigating to it, go to install, and look for install.php. And as you can see, I've already deleted it here. So after you delete that, you're able to click continue, and then it's going to take you to your admin control panel. And then continue. Now you're going to enter in the username and password you just provided, and log in. And there you have it. There's your admin control panel. You can click forum homepage. It'll take you to an overview of your forums. Now when you're done with that, return to the article that had the video showcasing how to use the Ajax installation script. And if you scroll down, there's a few useful links. The bulletin manual to different articles in the vBulletin CMS. And then Wayne Luke took a few minutes of his time and wrote a very detailed article on how to set up your forum. If you'll follow the information outlined here, it'll help you set up your forum a little bit better than it is by default. So go ahead and take a few minutes, read through this article, become well acquainted with your forum and how it works, and enjoy. We hope the video was very helpful.